tutorial series. As we can see in the first part, we have animated this B with the help of this null object. Now we need to animate all these things with the help of this null object. So what we can do over here? Let's see. Now after animating this B, I'll select this null object which belongs to B. So I'll hit enter and I'll name it as B and hit OK. Now after that, what we will do is make sure that you are on the last frame over here before that do not follow any procedure uh, at over here or here make sure you are on the two frames two seconds sorry now we will enable this e after that what i'll do is i'll hit ctrl r to enable my ruler and i'll drag this over here i'll select this e and i'll move it over here same procedure I'll follow for H, same for A, basically same for all of these alphabets. I'll enable this option so we can go move it properly over here. Again hit N, I'll move it over here, enable this option so we can drag it down properly. Select this one move it over here and drag it down select this E I'll move it over here enable this E and drag it down yes all of them are arranged properly so now what we will do is we will select this null object now as we can see we have b e h a and c e so we need to copy this null object for all of them i'll hit ctrl d i'll name it as e after that hit ctrl d i'll name it as h ctrl d i'll name it as a hit ctrl d enter i'll type n hit ctrl d hit enter i'll call it as c hit ctrl d enter i'll call it as e as we can see we have b hands over here and b hands over here now all you need to do is select this e make a parent with this e select this h make a parent with this h select this a make a parent with this a and select this n and make a parent with this n select this c make a parent with this c select this e and make it apparent with this e now as you can see all of our text are getting animated but you will find that they are not rotating because we didn't copy our rotation property to all of them so now i'll select this b i'll move it as a start at the start i'll select all this keyframe hit ctrl c select all this key uh, layers and hit ctrl v if I hit, hit U, we can see we all have. So as we can see, all of them are rotating also. Now I'll enable this motion blur option for all of them. Now as we can see, all of them are on animating. Now after that, what I'll do is I'll select this B, press Ctrl Shift C to make a pre-comp. I'll hit B and hit OK and i'll hide it from me select this e and null object e press ctrl shift c to pre comp it and i'll name it as h not h but e sorry select this h press ctrl shift c and type h and hide it select this a press ctrl shift c and hit a and i'll hide it select this n press ctrl shift c and type n and i'll hide it select this c press ctrl shift c and type c hit ok and i'll hide it select this e press ctrl shift c and i'll hit e and i'll hide it so now we have all of them on the different layers and in different comps for then now what we will do is we will arrange it properly over here so press p i'll move this i'll hide no, all of them which are at the top I'll move this E over here, enable H, press P for position property, I'll move this over here, 
select A, press and hide this, press P. I'll move this over here, select this end. I'll move this over here, select this C, and hide this layer, press P for position property. I'll move it over here, select this E, press P for position property, and hide this and i'll move this thing over here so select this e and move it a little bit downward and we don't need this ruler for now so as we can see we are getting this kind of animation now after that what we will do is we will animate this rectangle over here but before that we need to arrange it properly so for that what i'll do is i'll drag this over here move this over here by using simply open bracket so now they are arranged randomly over here. move this thing over here if you want then you can arrange it randomly for but for now i'll move it over here move this rectangle over here zoom in a little bit i'll move this over here and press y to pen behind tool and adjust this anchor point over here i'll move this thing over here zoom out and make it to fit as we can see we are getting this kind of animation so after that what we need to do we will see in the part 3 of this tutorial series so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates until then stay tuned